we will learn how to diagnose this issue in SPSS. This is the data set, three variable we will use, performance as the dependent variable, commitment and turnover intention as the independent variables. How to define multicollinearity? Who 2006 defines it as a situation in which the independent predictor variables are highly correlated. What is the impact of multicollinearity? Rakoff and Markolites state that in a regression analysis, the presence of multicollinearity implies that one is using redundant information in the model, which can easily lead to unstable regression coefficient estimates. There are some other side effects and negative implication also. How to test it? There are four basic tests. We will conduct all these ones. The first one is correlation analysis. High correlation coefficient among the predictors implies that multicollinearity is suspected. Hire and his colleagues in their book on multivariate data analysis suggest that if correlation coefficient between two predictors is 1, it means there is complete collinearity. But if correlation coefficient between two predictors is 0, then that means there is no collinearity at all. They further suggest that if coefficient is 0.7 or above, then you can suspect the issue. But if it exceeds 0.9, so then there is a serious threat. Second test is the tolerance. If value of the tolerance is less than 0.1 or VAF's value is greater than 10, so then there is a problem of multicollinearity. Since these two tests are related to each other and VAF is actually derived from uh, the tolerance, hence you can use any one of these two. Fourth test is the condition index. If condition index value is greater than 50, then you can suspect it. And if it exceeds 30, so then there is a serious issue of multicollinearity. Let's do it in SPSS. Analyze, correlate, bivariate. So these two are the independent variables. At the moment, I am not interested in the dependent variable. And uh, select them. And OK. Collision coefficient is not very high. So multicollinearity is not suspected as per initial test suggest. Then go for second, third and fourth test. Analyze regression linear. And PR is the dependent variable, and these two are the independent variables. And then go to statistics here, check the option of collinearity diagnostics. Continue and OK. And here you see tolerance is within the limit, and VF is also within the limit. So, tolerance recommended value is greater than 1 for non-presence of multicollinearity and if it's less than 0.1 then that means there is a problem of multicollinearity. VIF's value if it exceeds 10 then there is a problem of multicollinearity but in our case V is far less than uh, 10. Last test is the condition index. Condition index as uh, we studied earlier that if it exceeds 15 then collinearity is suspected but in our case all values are less than 15 so we conclude that collinearity is not suspected in this case. We can also look into how to resolve the issue of multicollinearity. So at the moment we are sharing two uh, options. One option is to re remove one predictor and second option is to merge two predictors.